Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here, of course, in the best country in the world, the United States of America. So last time, we had a slight kerfuffle, slight, some might say, civil war, but that's all done and good right now. We are one whole nation again, and now we can do some radical reconstruction. So it's a collective term used to describe the pol policies, laws, decrees, and constitutional amendments and presidential orders enacted after the American Civil War, with the goal of reintegrating the former Confederate States back into the Union. The policies centered chiefly around issues like the ending of slave power, the suppression of Southern nationalism and revanchism, and the recognition of the 13th Amendment by the Southern states. Reconstruction ended with the Compromise of 1877, when federal troops were finally withdrew from the South. The Confederate banners lie trampled in the ashes of Savannah and Richmond, and it's time to start the Reconstruction. Ah, yes. Good. So we no longer get Dixie as an, an accepted culture. Ah, huh. more assimilation, right? That is interesting. Pass the 15th Amendment uh, to the Constitution, pr which prohibits the federal and state governments from denying a citizen the right to vote based on that citizen's race, color, or previous condition of servitude. And it is the third and last of the Reconstruction Amendments. Huh. Race, color, or previous condition of servitude. Oh, that's interesting. Let's see. I didn't even see what it, what it gave us, but oh, that's fine, whatever. Uh, how do we do the... It says after 18... Uh, no, it's not... It's not even 1865. It's 1864. Still. Cool. And we do have enough, so... And we're also justifying on Mexico, because... What's more American to do than that? Let's see. We want to build up some more armies, which we are trying to. But, uh... Oh, yeah. We're trying to repair some of these... Repair? Fix up some of these... Uh, armies that we have here, because some of them... They ain't looking so hot right now. So. And we might as well just go ahead and build, like... Oh, Dixie soldiers are still here. Oh, that's alright, they probably won't rebel. Oopsie. That's a lot of uh, engineers. I don't think I need that many engineers. Oh, Texan, yeah. It's because I'm Texans in there. All right. Do we still accept them? Oh, we don't accept them, but we can use them. I did not know that. We don't accept Dixie anymore. Huh. That is interesting. That's very, very interesting. Right now, though, I think I really, really want to focus on industry. Just tons and tons of industry. We actually might want to do some of this as well. Administrative stuff. But I think industry... Ooh, that's not too bad. Efficiency? Let's go with industry stuff. self automation semi automation I mean. Paraguayan Expedition. Uh, the American ship USS Water Witch was doing a scientific expedition on the Parana River when the Paraguayan troops fired against it. This act of aggression wasn't met by an official apology by a Paraguayan director or dictator, Carlos Lopez. This insult went unanswered for too long. Now the U.S. Congress authorized for a naval squadron to be sent to Paraguay to seek redress from Paraguay for the shelling of the water witch, which had resulted in the death of the American citizen, the ship's helmsman. Gun gunboat diplomacy, huh? Oh, heck yeah. Oh, and we get parks process. Cool soldier st stomach. Oh, of course, we're going to be pro-military. For some reason, we're led by the Democrats. I realize that. Like, we're not led by the Republicans. Like, was Abraham Lincoln already assassinated or something? I'm trying to hold an election right now because it doesn't make sense. They, Most of them already just lost the Civil War. Why are they in power? <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. And I can't do anything with the economy now. The Alaskan Purchase. Ooh, we hear word from the Russian ambassador. They're willing to sell their Alaskan colony to us for the right price. Perhaps we should consider making an offer before someone else snaps it up. Land isn't worth much at the moment, but owning Alaska would be a boon to our prestige. Uh, I want it. And Russia agrees to the sale. Alaska's ours. We lose, we get prestige, and we lose a lot of money. Woo! We're out of money. So, that being said... Oh, god dang it. Why are we Democrats? That doesn't make any sense. We just won the Civil War. Go and do that. Um, that should, yeah, that should give us enough money. Okay, so... Wait, did I get that without... Picking, taking a loan? Um, okay, well. That's cool. Hey, look at that. What is this? The American... Ah, there we go. The American Frontier. It's finally 1865, my friends. So, frontier history tells the story of the creation and the defense of communities, the use of the land, the development of markets, and the formation of states. It is a tale of conquest, but also one of survival, persistence, and the merging of peoples and cultures that gave birth and continuing life to America. Several years of frontier forts and ports have grown through the years, while several others were abandoned and new cities took their place. The American frontier had has been tamed, which we get. Wow! So, we get development of all, a whole bunch of the West, really kind of the Midwest, not what we, what we think of the Midwest, which, because this includes Texas as well, if I could speak. Um, Great Falls, Rapid City, Dakota Country, 
Kansas. Yes, for the love of God, yes. And we can't do this one yet because, well, I might just go to World of Spain just to take Cuba off, but Puerto Rico is looking a little Jacobin right now. Hmm, they're allied with the Dutch and the two Sicilians, which actually, Sicily is here. Why? I have no idea why, but that's okay. And actually, yeah, Russia's... Oh, uh, they're Westerner, they're Liberal Party. Um, we have Japan here too. Can't increase relations yet, that's okay. Between China, Queen China. But you do want to take out some of them later since we do probably the infamy. Romania is here. And actually, Germany, I think it took a little bit more than Alsace Lorraine. I don't remember you owning the Ardennes. Yeah, I don't remember you owning that, so. But hey, if you make it German, good luck. Just give me your give me your immigrants. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Now to Civil War, now everyone wants to come over here again. Uh, we were 9.2. That's not bad. That's really not great. Paraguay gives us military access for our expedition against Paraguay. Contact flag officer William B. Shubrick. Let the expedition begin. Oh man, we might be going to war very, very soon. Mission to the Empire of Mexico. What are you talking about? Good. I don't mind it going a little slower just because we've already been discovered. I want to spend time to lower the infamy amount, which we lower by 0 0.09 every month, which sucks, but. We plan it correctly. We might be able to get two things off of the country instead of one. I hope. Kind of hope that. Pinkerton's detective agency. Uh oh. Uh, Pinkerton men who have proven themselves effective at solving train robberies and capturing counter counterfeiters have now turned to working as strike breakers and infiltrating such secret societies as the Molly Maguires. That's cool. Molly Maguire. What just happened to our budget? I thought we were making some money. Beer hall opening. Cheers. Yeah, that's fine. Cheers. Oh, thank God we're Republican now. I can tax poor people. Oh, thank God. Can I not get rid of that? Um, lower that by a whole bunch. Lower that by a bunch. Poor people can pay this. Um, oh. But for some reason, I thought we could move that around a little bit more. No Republicans. No, 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 no. Social spending. That's kind of expensive. Coal production. Can I repay this loan, Denmark? Okay, what's going on with the budget? Like... I'm getting more money, but it's going down at the same time. Something glitched? Do you see this? I'm at 12,000. Okay, now, now it's going back up. 20,000. And I will get rid of my tariffs, you know, over time, but I, we gotta make sure we get enough money. Alright, so do we have enough? Ah, oh, we're making some more guys over here, which is good, because I'm just gonna send you to Texas. Ah, uh, Dallas. No. That's not Dallas. Dallas is over here. Abilene. Huh. Close enough. Close enough. So we're feeling pretty good about that. All right, I can probably do this a little bit more so we can get cheaper products. Rebellion and our ally. The Hawaiian government has been toppled and rebels blame American influence as a primary cause of old regime's corruption. We have lesser influence in Hawaii, and as a result, the only question remains is the way pressure to claim by force. Uh, yeah. Oh, God dang it, Hawaii. Are you kidding me? Again? Seriously, what am I paying you for? Oh, uh, you guys head on over here. I'll send one army or one group over there. Stop automation, good. Uh, oh, factory costs. I definitely want less factory costs, so we'll do that. Because this unlocks in 1870, 1870. And um, if you hear any noise, it's probably because it's raining outside when I'm making this recording. So it is what it is. So this group needs a horse and an artillery piece. Actually, do you have an engineer? No, you don't. A horse, which I don't have. Whoops. There we go. Which we will have soon. <clears throat> and an artillery piece. You guys need a horse, infantry, and artillery. Horse, infantry, and artillery. Uh, well, I'm glad I'm making two more of those guys. Nice. Actually, are you a horse? No, you are not a horse. You are looking very artillery heavy. Holy cow. Ooh. Don't make that. Don't make that. Give me two more artilleries. Or, or infantries. Infantries. I mean, they'll still do okay against Mexico, but still. Alright, so we're making enough money. I'm going to lower my tariffs again. There you go. Alright, they don't want to do that. The professor. <clears throat> Let's have a sip of coffee here. American coffee. Good stuff. Hmm. 
get rid of the worst troublemakers. Well, let's see. Oh my god. I wanted... Oh, Jesus. Look at that administra administrative stuff. Holy cow. All of the south, except for Tennessee, is really bad. Tennessee's not great. They're 50%, but... Well, that's radical reconstruction for you. Wasn't it like during a depression, like that's why they left? Or it was maybe during a recession in which people left. The Republicans or the army left during the time, you know, after the Civil War. Let's see. Nevada, you're looking pretty depleted there, too. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, I'm going to keep putting bureaucrats in Hispaniola because they're going to take forever to do, so. Alright, make you guys come up. Oh, you guys are here. Nice. <clears throat> I don't foresee too many problems going down to Hawaii. Oh, there we go. So we need to go to war. Uh, let's also go to war. Eh, I'm kind of okay. Go to war by the end of December, which is fine, because I want to lower my infamy as much as possible. Nicaragua. Eh, we okay, man. We okay. Oh, man. Give me one more day, one more month. Nice. By the end of December, I really want to lower my infamy as much as possible. Uh, we're kind of okay, because I do want to go to war with Colombia as soon as possible as well. So. Oh, we're pretty really friendly with all with a bunch of people here. Germany, you you and me. Yeah, we're buds. Yeah, we're buds. I love it. Uh, how about me and Brazil? Yeah, we're buds. Yeah, we're real buds. We're good buds. Oh, they got some Jacobins down there again. Huh. I right, see so you guys. Looking pretty wild. Ecuador? No, I got plans for you. Um, can I have one infantry, please? Did someone need infantry? I forget. You guys need it? No, you really didn't, but whatever. Beer halls. Destitution poverty. What the heck? Infantry, you guys come there. Dallas. Mm, Budge's not looking great. That's okay. Alright. Time to siege him down. Again. Oh, you know what? If we're going to go to war now, we might as well do it now. Oh, don't let it go by month. Okay. <clears throat> it's going to cost a cost us a little bit to do this, but that's okay. There we go. Oh no, General Zach Zachary Taylor is dead. That's not good. Alright, so we're going to go to war with Columbia, because I want to take Panama off of them if I can. I'm just going to take it off of them, and then make it my puppet, probably. It's 11. Oh, I can't do that yet. God dang it. Mm, I don't want to risk it. I really don't want to risk it. You guys come up there, actually. That'd be better. Alright, so you guys are here. We still have no horses. You guys. Luxury, good, good. One. That's good. So we need four infantry. There you go. Austin, Texas, which I think I've been to once. Here, that give me another horse. There you go. Nice. I might as well keep the budget high for now. Alright, so. Hawaii. Hawaii. Come on. You're pretty hostile to everyone except for me. And even then, you're pretty hostile to me. We gotta make sure we influence them more, 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 more. And I'm gonna send you guys home too. Oh, factory parts. Good. We want more immigrants for now. Go to war by the end of December. Money's good. Money's good. Not bad. I don't mind using these guys as well. Oh, actually, you know what? We'll, we'll ally with Guatemala. They can come into the war with us. How's Spain doing? They're not, they're, they got a lot of slaves in Cuba. Wow. That's a lot of slaves. Yeah, if we're going to use those, we must use those, use those guys as well. Alright. Where are these guys? Oh, we finally got a horse. Finally, we got a horse. Finally, 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 finally. Finally. Oh, you guys need an artillery piece. Or was it engineer? I don't, it doesn't matter to me. Doesn't, I really don't care. Come on, lower that in for me. Actually, how many immigrants are we getting? Now, that's a bright green. I love it. Our current population, though, right now, is 28 million. That's not a lot. That's our higher population. Give me one more month. One more month, and I'll lower the infamy, then we go to war with Mexico, and I might begin justifying on Colombia. There we go. Uh, we 
could all do, we could do all this stuff, but I'm not really interested. So, mm, compound steam, yeah, let's do compound steam engine. Oh, of course, we we would already have discovered the cotton gin. Awesome. Let's go and go to war. Shoot our ships in here. Good. Nice. They're they're good enough that we can use them. Go to war. Acquire states. Um, which one do we want? Sonora? Chihuahua? I think it's maybe maybe Chihuahua. Let's double check this first. This is Chihuahua. Oh, we can see if it irons too. It would look better if we take this, though. Hmm. Is it better to take this? Yeah, let's take Chihuahua, just because if we take Sonora, it, it just looks so bad. It just looks incredibly disgusting. Now, I can't take two pieces of territory off Mexico, but... We're gonna be here all game. We're gonna be here all game, ready to... Having, having a good time with them. Um, I could call all my allies in, actually. It really doesn't matter to me, since I just want to take one state. I can't afford to take any more infamy hits, so we'll do that. That's fine with me. It is what it is. Engineers, well, you can't even be used. All right, we'll see you later. And you will come down here, too. Germany, Venezuela, Brazil. This is really one-sided. Like, I would feel so bad for Mexico, since <laughs> we have two great powers, Brazil, Colombia. Is it Colombia or someone? No, I don't think it's Colombia, but just, oh my gosh. Give me a little bit more time, and then I'll just apply on Colombia. Nice. Are you blockading anyone? Yeah, kind of are. That's kind of good. Up, oh, and they immediately attacked me, and they died. Ah. Ah, we have war, but, eh, whatever. Do we still get immigration? We still get a ton of immigration. Thousands a day, so, whatever. They started mobilizing, no one cares. Yeah, they, they rise up, and they're like... I'm dead. Nice. Hey, I'm joined here with my cat, Binky. Bing Bing, how are you doing? Do you like Mexico? I love Mexico. They're one of my favorite neighbors. Yeah, Bing. Yeah. You want some coffee? Man, Binky even coffee. That'd be kind of wild. Good. Oh, might need a couple more armies down south to help out this guy. We'll see what happens, though. Alright, so you are going to move somewhere else. Because there's too many guys around here that need to get squashed. Alright, so how many guys do they have? No, that's not bad. So even crush them there, maybe. Probably not. So you are going to be on the hunt for other guys. Oh, Binky, you want my chair? Alright, Binky, 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 you want my chair? Alright. Oops, my bad. Let's move you right here. Come on. No, this way. This way. Come on. Come on. Alright, let's get this done as well. Hey, he took my chair. Alright. Gotta move you over, Bink. Sorry, guys. But when the Bink wants to sit down, he wants to sit down, yeah? You okay? Nice. Yeah, that's good. You guys come over there. Oh, oh boy. Are we taking them in? Oh, that's not a good idea. That's really not a good idea. I mean, we can still win. I can't believe I attacked him in the mountains. Bad, 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 bad idea. Uh, Colombia. No, I got plans for you, like I said. Oh, wow. We are actually losing a little bit. Hmm. Yeah, go to him. Don't attack him in the mountains and stuff like that. That's not a good idea. Hmm. Let's see. You guys come here. You guys come down here. It'll be okay with me. Maybe I should research more army texts. That'd probably be good. Come on. Get it in there. Ooh. Oh, yeah. You guys are available, too. Forgot about you. Might as well go that way. Yeah, now that's nice. That's what we want. Oh, they pieced someone pieced us out. Which is fine with me. Totally fine. We weren't... We almost lost a battle there or so. But that's okay. You guys stay there. And then... Oh, you're looking pretty weak, man. You look pretty weak. You come up to Abilene. You guys come around to... How about... Nolens. And we can actually start building up, like, the south. Finally, we can build up the south. Not bad. Not great, but not bad. Thank you. Mexico, you will become American when we're done with you. Railroad, yes. Alright, I'll we'll do that. Let's lower this. Lower that by quite a bit. And this by quite a bit as well. Nice. 
you come over to Montgomery. Oh yeah, you can finally build roads down here too. Oh, we're Republican, that's right. Nice. Build roads, build so many roads. We need to industrialize the South finally. West Virginia? Don't mind if I do. New Jersey? <clears throat> Arizona? Almost all of New Mexico. Ooh. Nice. And these uh, stacked states. Nice. Now we're out of money again. Wait, can we build a road in... Ah, Hispaniola. Nice. Very nice. How is the administration coming along? Well, that's coming along okay. We keep lowering our education efficiency because we keep taking more states, but that's okay. Uh, let's see. Ooh, Bolivia, that sounds like okay. fun. I'm tired of waiting. I might have to save scum for this, but let's see what happens. I probably will have to save scum for this. Alright, so you guys are looking okay. It's August 23rd, 1867. Hmm. Wait, where are the horses? We got two horses. That's not bad. You guys need what? You need a horse. You need another artillery piece. Well, I don't know if I can get another artillery piece. Oh, well, actually, no, you, you guys are fine. Hmm. So we need one artillery piece. That would be great. Hussars. Oh, look at that. Nice. Steam turbine. Not bad. Navy stuff. We want to make sure we get this stuff as well because it's super important for uh, increasing our military power score. I'll definitely focus a little bit more on m military tech. Army tech. Uh, colonial negotiation. Yeah, we must do that one first. So, the Iron Range. The Iron Range refers to a numerous or numerous iron producing ranges embraced within the Lake Superior region. These churdy iron ore deposits are Precambrian in age for the Vermilion Range, where Middle Precambrian age for the for the Mesabi and Coyuna Ranges. Similarly, the Gogevec Go Range in Wisconsin and the Maraquet Iron Range and Menominee, which I've been to, range in Michigan. A recent discovery: these ranges, along with other iron deposits in Utah and New York, will greatly boost iron production in the American continent. Awesome! Oh, yes, yes, I love it. How do we do this? Ah, I see. So we're always going to have problem, a lot of problems with Hawaii. That's not good. And to do this, yeah, I'm, I'd rather just take a bit. Offer to, ooh. Oh, let's get the, let's get a lot of money. Yeah, we're gonna get a lot of money here. Can I buy Cuba? Please. Oh, you know what? If we want to do that, maybe we'll increase relations with the Spanish. Any wars? Chilean, Argentinian war. Crime. Oh, the Crimean War. Oh wait, you're fighting a lot of guys without the UK. Huh. That's fun. Yeah. That's actually really awesome. Just give me all your immigrants. Even Mexico. They were defeated. They're still getting a lot of immigrants. Alright, so 9.4 infamy. That's not bad. I'm not going to save scum. That, even though it's not really great, it is what it is. You guys come up there. Just take them out. Put them down. Put them down like the dogs they are. Alright, let's do that. And you guys need a horse. Another great army. Hmm, I'm going to put you as a Hunt of Rebels. I'm going to put you in Chicago. You never know. When I say Chicago, I instantly thought of the Enclave for some reason. Instantly thought of it. Hmm. Might be a problem I have. I might have made too many engineers. Afro-American martyr. Uh, uh, well, whatever. Let's see. So, now we need one more artillery piece. I don't want to use too many engineers in anything, so... Let's see. Ah, I got Mexican artillery as well. Nice. Let's get much more money. The Colombian Menace. Oh, and here we go. We have, I guess, reached late. Oh, well, so wait, hold on. The Milton Socialists in the South. It's one thing if you're liberal guys, but... Really? Oh, is this? Mechanized Mining? Nice. You guys go ahead and do that as well. That'd be good. You guys can do that too. You are going to stay here, though. Because you're pretty pretty damaged, not going to lie. That's increased relations with the Hawaiians. Crimean War isn't going well for Russia. And how much longer must we wait for this? Just a little bit longer. Alright, first couple battles. Ooh, an election. A prosperity range.
Ah, uh, mission to Columbia, my friends. What are you talking about? Oh, we lost the Battle of Charlotte. Awesome. Oh, we were trying to create more stuff. Yeah, so we have enough money. Well, uh, we really don't have enough money. But, uh, you know, whatever. We can get a lot more ships. The Foul Murder. This is kind of a generic one. Uh, produce a perpetrator. Let's not throw accusations wildly about. Oh, oh what did Peru say? It said something. So they have a military score of 10, which isn't bad. If I really want to go into South America and make them all my puppets, I will save scum. But, uh, we could probably take out Peru. Actually, you know what? We're probably going to take out Ecuador, Colombia first, then Ecuador, and then maybe Peru, and have Brazil join us. Probably. Probably. How close are we? Oh, pretty close. Hmm. That's not bad. We might want to wait a little bit longer for this. But we just need more money right now. Oh, oil production. Nice. I love oil production. So the Chicago Enclave is up there. And then you guys come down here. And we're... Worry... See, some of them wanted to rebel. But I was smart to give these worry people guns to put down their comrades. So, ah, there we go. We can go to war by June. That'd be good. So let's reorganize ourselves so that we can get enough guys around here. You probably don't have any... Ooh. Yeah, we've got to raise up the budget a little bit more so we get more supplies. Actually, what do we... We need coal. Do we not have enough coal? Screw that. Hurt my budget then. Wow, you guys are looking... Holy... Smokerinos. And you needed the artillery piece, so. Nice. Uh, you guys looking pretty okay. Not great. You come Nolans. I do say Nolans, so it is what it is. You guys need a horse. <clears throat> you might as well combine both these guys together. Do we have any other horses? No, we do. Not bad. The expedition ends. Uh, our military sent a few gunboats up the Parana River for target practice, Paraguay, and military exercises. A few months of gunboat diplomacy and a few demonstrations of our military might end. Paraguay agreed to issue an official apology and already paid indemnifications for the death of our sailor. Justice is... Oh. A stab in the back. Oh, man. This isn't the stab in the back myth, but whatever. Lockout? Hey. Oh, no, 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 no. Capitalists have called for a lockout following a period of intensifying labor conflicts in the area. Workers have been informed by management that no one else is welcome back to work. While union sympathies still run high among the... Uh, well, they remain high among the employed. Local police have expressed support for the move, citing a long series of disturbances at the factory, some even bordering on sabotage. Oh. <coughs> Excuse me. My bad. I drank some coffee and it went down the wrong hole. Uh, I really don't want more socialists, so I'm going to go more reactionary. <coughs> but whatever. That's fine. Cool. I want to get that done before... It's 1868. Steam turbine. I really want that, but let's get more military stuff first. Alright, so let's get these guys spending some money. Give me one more month and then we'll go to war, pretty much. Send some guys down there, and... Alright, like, give me one more month. <coughs> Alright, they they look good enough. There you go. Go on the boat. We coming to Colombia. Hey, maybe we get Venezuela in here too. Oh, what is that? Recognize Puerto Rican independence? Oh, heck yeah. So, the Puerto Ricans have established themselves as a free country, and it falls on the Americans as descendants of the Sons of Liberty to officially recognize their independence. Independence and encourage their growth as American allies. My apolo my apologies. I cannot speak of this episode, so. Oh, look at that. Puerto Rico, I can't wait to have you under me. <sighs> Alright, let's get our ships down there. They're down here. Oh, and we want Panama. I mean, that, that's pretty much it. We just want Panama. Liberia won't accept Brazil, Germany, and Venezuela. Now, I would love to do another war goal in this, but I don't have the infamy for it, so we might as well call everyone in. Have a good old time together, you know. That's a good old family tradition. Liberia. I gave you freedom. 
Can you reject me? This isn't very nice of you. You're doing this too? I'm going to Hawaii. Partially westernized? Well, you better be. They're nationalists. Uh, the UK, they kind of like us. Anyone else that doesn't really care for us? Uh, I don't see Italy around here. Uh, most of these people actually already like us. Including the Japanese, which is kind of nice. Uh, Switzerland. Hello. Switzerland? No, Sweden. My bad. Sweden. I guess Germany's leading the cause for this one. That's fine with me. Cool. Let's siege this area down. Ooh, permanent prestige. We have war, but as I've told you before, no one cares. So, uh, motion carries, reactionary. Eh, get some more reactionary up there, I guess. It doesn't matter once the house gets rearranged. Nice. Now, we got to be smart about this. We have to be very, very smart because we do not want a lot of attrition. Ooh, and you have a horse. I might just steal your horse. Ah, New Orleans. I, I he's, almost any time now that I think of New Orleans, I'm thinking the Huey Long Dong. Mm. Oh, Germans have arrived. Good. Your visa. Hey, expedition returns without success. We should try again. It's only 50,000 pounds. Come on, I want to get him on the boat first. And boom. Oh, they want Panama City, I see, huh? Quib, quib do. What composition do they use? They have no horse. No. Okay, well. David? Let's go to David. David. That's right, my friends. Liberty prevails. While some of the or policies in the past have been viewed as land grabbing, expansionist imperialism, some people even abroad now are arguing that we are simply furthering the cause of human liberty by expanding our nation. A foreign friendship association has recently sent us a telegram of warm congratulations on our latest victories. What is the future course of our nation? Pride and glory, which get prestige and lose infamy. I'm gonna go with modesty and restraint, probably, because even though I like prestige, like, I wanna get rid of this infamy as fast as possible. Chile, I would love to, but I have plans for you later, too. Oh, you know, actually, you know what? We'll take you now, so that maybe we can beat up Argentina later together. I don't know, we'll see what happens. I want at least Brazil under us. They're definitely in my sphere, which is good. Do I want anyone else in my sphere? Congratulations, we might get stuff from them. Nice. Let's go to the capital. They'll probably peace out after that. If not already. Good, good, good. Ah. Uh, take that just in case. Oh, our army's a little bit too big, but that's okay. That's totally okay. Ah, Bogotazars, Medellin. And the Germans are moving around. They took Panama City, which is fine with me. Oh, hey, look at that. American Panama. I'm going to leave you there. I want you guys to come up there. Nice, we got Panama. Now, I would want to make him as a puppet, but I'm going to wait for one more war, and then I'll make him a puppet as well. That infamy isn't too bad, so... <clears throat> hmm. Calabar. Benin. Hmm. They, they got a lot of population around here. and Oh, these guys have a lot of population. Aro? That could get me to Sokoto, which is pretty important to get to. They got some, I think, I think fuel up there, too. Ethiopia. I do want to take out Vietnam, though. Because that'd be fun. Demand a concession. It's only a concession, which isn't great. So, hmm. I'm thinking Ecuador first. Make him our puppet. Let's do that. Cool. And we'll probably get caught very soon, so. We gotta save up some money. Ooh, elections. Nice. Very nice. You guys have no one with you because you still get wait for that ship. And you're coming back to America or not. No, you're gonna come down over here. You're gonna take a long journey down there. Cool. Let's lower the budget so we don't really need these guys right now. Tariffs are still very high. We can lower that. That's fine with me. Alright. Do we... What do we need here? So, you need artillery, infantry, you need one of each. Oh, guards, yes. One, two, three. Nice. I'm going to put you around DC because that's probably good to do. Uh, Canada has been released. If anything, like if time goes on, I'll probably just puppet Canada. I might not be able to annex them since it takes a lot of infamy. And... Oh. Yeah, it just takes a lot of infamy. But I'm over my infamy limit, so I'll see you in just a little bit. Alright, my friends, sorry about that, but I unfortunately had to save Scum. Right now we have 18.88 
infamy right now. It is, of course, August 27th, and we have a point defense system that is almost done. But, most importantly, we can enact an, a social reform. Now, we can get better health care, which I like a lot. We still use some child labor. It's restricted, but you know what? Even if it's restricted or even illegal, some people might still do it. Especially if you can pay them a lower wage. A school system would probably be better to do, though, first. Just because we can assimilate people faster, which is already pretty good, I think. And we get more education efficiency, which is something that I think we could probably use first. So, let us have a great education system. And we do have our war justification done with Ecuador. So we can go to war with them whenever we want. Um, Austria? Hungary? You're gonna, wait, who are you going to free against these people? Uh, other than that, nothing else has really happened. Obviously, I still finished the war. We still have Panama here. Um, oh, we also have a lot of militant socialists. So, kind of sucks. Yeah, militant socialists. It is 1869. I'm going to wait. You know what? <clears throat> Excuse me. I almost never do this. But I'm going to wait. I'm going to store up some more uh, research points. Uh, bureaucrats, bureaucrats, bureaucrats. Oh, you're almost done. You're done there, too. Nice. Put some bureaucrats there. House Hispaniola. Not great, but not bad. I'm still trying to get more money, but that's okay. I think we need to go to war by June, I think? I think it's June. I'm gonna kill off all these guys first, though. All right, not bad. Get rid of those guys, that's fine. Money's looking great. And... Uh, liberal and anarcho-liberals. Well, that's still okay with me. We're still Republicans, which is fine. We've got some money here. Get you on a boat. Come on down to Ecuador. And then cut them down to size, which, you know what, we must have, oh, hold on. American Alaska. That's right, we can make them a state. Uh, can I make them a slave state? That would be quite interesting, to say the least. Is there a naval base around here? Uh, I'm not seeing one yet. Well, let's see. Uh, do we believe in naval bases that are around in Alaska? Hmm. Maybe not. Oh, no. I thought I saw one. No. No naval bases. Oh, that's minus four. Alpine dog. Oh, God. That's terrible. But, I guess we go to war now. Make a puppet. We could probably do this by ourselves, so. The first of many puppets. Oh, we're going to invade and basically demolish them. Cool. Very cool. We got war, but no one cares. Colonial crisis. Very concerning. It's almost tea time. Well, I don't know about tea, but what about coffee? We need to get some more clerks, too. Uh, it's only three guys. It should be good enough. Usually you don't want to attack like that, but it's only three guys. So let's see if we can pull you guys down, too. Oh, look at that. There's some Afro-Latino guys. Ah, some Irish. So, we got some Germans here. If we can get some Americans here, we could... Uh, assimilate these guys to become American. Or Yankee, I should really say. Yankee. Bloody Yanks. And happy 1870, my friends. Nice. Cool. I might as well throw you down there because we can. Cool. Oh, and let's do that first. Yeah, we'll definitely get this one first just so we get more research points. Nice. And it's roughly overkill for this group, but whatever. Good enough. Oh man, supplies gonna be really bad down here. Colonial crisis. It's almost tea time. Go ahead and try it again. Good, 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 good. Nice. A little bit of a naval battle here and there. Good. Oh, they allied with that. Oh, did you break my alliance? Oh, what's, what's going on? Uh, ah, Modini and freedom. Oh god, they really don't want Italy to form. British control over Kut. French war against Tunis. Show the great, great powers. Oh, you broke it in our lines. Why'd you? Oh, come on, man. I thought we were buds. I thought we were buddies. That sucks. Hmm. Uh, do I want to increase my relations with anyone? Liberia, I guess. Call ally? Probably not. Hawaii. Hawaii. There you are. Nice, that's better. Zamorka. Cool. I'm going to send you guys home, just so you can repair it a little bit more. Because even though we're not making a lot of money right now, that's still okay. And two more provinces, and we'll have it done. 
So this is the beginning of our expedition to, like, puppet everyone down here. Nice. Awesome. They are now our puppet. They'll probably never really rebel. I say that, but you never know. Um, good. Good. Keep that high. Increase relations because they're going to be under us forever. But that's pretty much where we're going to end today's episode, my friends. We took Panama. We took Peru. Well, not Peru, but we took Ecuador. Peru seems like the next best step. And in establishing dom domination over the Americas. But I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you all tomorrow when we beat up Mexico some more. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.